Sunday Night Football. Patrick Mahomes and Kirk Cousins will be on the show. Chiefs are favored by three and a half as they go to Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Arthur Blank secures the very difficult to achieve honor of putting himself in the team's ring of honor. Free food and soda for everyone to distract from the fact that he put himself in his own ring of honor. Do the Falcons properly honor their owner on the night that he gives himself the honor of being in the ring of honor. Well, I think it's a, I think there's really a little bit of a tactical approach here too. Cause as we know, the Falcons, like you saw in week one, there was more Steelers that fans there than Falcons fans. You'd be in danger of that. Of course, this week it's the chiefs. They're becoming America's team there. It's a traveling road show. Everybody wants to go see Patrick Mahomes and Kelsey and the chiefs. So that, I think that's why they're probably doing it. Hoping that the Falcons fans don't sell their tickets to all the chiefs fans, but we'll see. I will say, I think the Falcons match up, <clears throat> excuse me, with the Chiefs pretty good. And hear me out a little bit. I do think that Raheem Morris, the style of defense that he plays, they are zone defenses. They're going to know a lot like the Bengals know how to pass off a lot of these route combinations that the Chiefs do. I don't think they're going to be in a tough spot there. Where I do worry about the Falcons is a little bit what we saw with the Eagles, that they can't really rush the passer and get there, right? And that Mahomes is going to be like, wait, nobody's open, but I'll buy three or four more seconds and somebody will get open then. That's what I do worry about. And, of course, I worry about the Chiefs being able to run the ball as consistently good as we've seen them here in the years past without Pacheco. I don't know if we're going to be able to depend on that. So those are some things I question. I do think that offensive line, like we saw last week in the Falcons, it's good. I do think they should be able to run the ball a little bit. Are the receivers and Kirk Cousins enough scary enough, though, that when the Chiefs go, wait, we're going to stop the run, we'll play man-to-man, -man, we'll get a little aggressive, are you guys good enough to beat us down the field and do that? That I'm not sure about. Listen, I do think this could be an upset, but I don't have the guts to pick it. I'm going to take the Chiefs, 24-17, excuse me, 24-17 Chiefs, uh, but I, I think the Falcons will be a pain in the butt all game long. I noticed on Monday night, and this is one of those situations where they act like they don't hear criticism, and then you see the reaction and Zach Robinson having Kirk Cousins not stand parallel feet. You see an attempt to do some play action. Yeah. You see Kirk Cousins recovering some confidence in his surgically repaired right leg. Definitely. And I think that when, when they go no huddle, he doesn't think about it. And I think late in the game, he didn't have the luxury of thinking about it. And that was the moment the rust was shaken off. I give the Falcons a better chance than I would have going into this game. I still, I still look at Mahomes, Cousins, Mahomes, Cousins. We've seen this movie before. Kirk's got an opportunity to really change narratives beyond the primetime Kirk thing, which definitely has changed in his last two primetime games, Monday night last year, 49ers, Monday night this year, Eagles pulling victory from the jaws of defeat. It's Mahomes, 28-24. Chiefs find a way, 28-24. If the Falcons would pull this one off, holy shit, NFC South, Bucks, Saints, yeah, Falcons. Right. I, I got I to gotta see it to believe it, though. Yeah. Chiefs, safer pick, 28-14, yeah. covering by a half. I hear you. I, don't, I right. won't make this a best bet. It scares me. And let me just say this real quick before we go. Kirk Cousins, that was an incredible performance. The pressure was on him about as much as any game in the history of his career. I mean, if he played bad the other night, it would have been like, what the hell did we do? Why did we pay him? Put in Michael Penix, all of that. That was a big-time performance, and I, I'm with you. I think he got a little confidence in his ankle uh, or his, his ankle, Achilles, whatever there, to, to be a little more aggressive as the weeks go here. Hey, it would have been on that, on that Sunday night game if Falcons fans had shown up instead of Chiefs fans. We want Penix. We want Penix at some point during the game. It was critical that he looked better yeah. in week two. The other difference, too, he wasn't being chased around by TJ Watt. Yo, yo, homies. Thanks for watching. Yeah, it's time. The NFL season is here on Chris Sims Unbuttoned. You can hit subscribe to get all the weekly picks, plus our Sunday recaps as the games are happening. Oh, you know it. Nobody does that better than us. Thanks again for watching. Remember to subscribe. Peace out. We'll see you next time on Unbuttoned.